what is up you guys welcome to a new video so today we're going to be working on the teal truck uh on my obs it's been sitting for the longest in the garage and due to the power steering not working so we're going to go ahead and replace the power steering pump and as well just the, while we're in there the truck is too low so we're going to raise it up possibly an inch or two um just so we have a lot clearance and it rides a lot better i think it's like a seven inch drop in the front right now and we're trying to bring it up to a five so we do have the 20s that we put on last time uh i think the ltz 20s for like a 2018 2019 so um the tire is real thin and and when we're driving and we hit a pop or something you can feel it a lot so we're gonna go ahead lift it up a little bit change the power steering pump and a little bit more of a maintenance that it needs to be done for the truck to be driving so we can start bringing it out to the meets bringing it out as driving it to work and back and stuff like that giving it some use so yeah you guys um let me go ahead i'm gonna start setting it up and uh i'll show you guys the truck Okay guys, so truck is on jack stamps. Remember, safety first. Donde agarro yo la troca? Del cab mount ahí. Queda segura, no se mueve, no se va a resbalar y nos da espacio para levantarla. So Voy a hacer time lapse, quitar la llanta y ahorita ya me meto ahí con la luz para que puedan ver qué voy a desarmar para poder quitar el spring y poner el nuevo. All right, guys. So we're gonna be removing this cutter pin, this nut, the bottom one right here and uh we hammer it out the whole assembly will come off and you're gonna have these two free we're gonna remove the shock there's two bolts on the bottom there's one up here once that's off it's gonna come down we're gonna be able to remove the shock and redo the whole process again um i'm just gonna time lapse because it is gonna take me a while but uh yeah basically it's two bolts you hammer it out it drops you remove this to the side, try to get yourself a, a, either some wire or something so you could hang this because it's pretty heavy. So you can hang this off to the side because you do have your brake line here. But the whole thing is going to come off, the whole assembly. And um, yeah, we're, we're aiming to replace that there. All right, guys, so we hammered it out. These are loose. Um, always remember to leave it on the last threads uh, so when it pops out, it doesn't fall on you. And so if you hit, you know, by accident, you slide and you hit here, you don't mess up the threads on the bolt. And this one, same thing, goes right here. Um, this is your steering linkage. So this one, hit it a couple times here, it'll pop off. So this thing's already loose. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and remove it and we'll show you guys what we do from there. All right guys, so we removed everything from the truck. We left the hanging from here. Push the, control arm, the lower control arm down. We got the spring out. Come to realize the new spring we're gonna put on, they're exactly the same freaking height. I'm not too sure why we're too low. We got lowering two inch lowering spindles, uh three inch <laughs> springs, and the shock. Um shouldn't be seven inches, but it actually is for whatever reason. I don't know if there's something to do with my chassis, I don't know. So we're still lifting it. We're gonna go ahead and go to AutoZone or O'Reilly's, whichever one carries it. 
it's a cone that sits on top here and it's a spacer it sits up one or two inches taller uh, we're gonna go ahead and bring both the two inch and the three inch and we're gonna see because I don't have the stock springs anymore to kind of compare so we're gonna go ahead and, and slap that on drop it see how it looks if we like the three inch we like the four inch we're probably gonna go with the three inch first and then down but hey you guys same same size so we're gonna go ahead and replace we're gonna go get the cone so we can slap it on and then we actually want to get this truck lifted um it's no good low not anymore not with the swap so yeah we back the lowering shots springs i mean but yeah we got the stock ones so i, I can show you right now the big ass difference maybe like three inches two inches but it's gonna lift up the truck where we want it so yeah guys check it out <laughs> all right you guys so <laughs> thanks to george's nice introduction so these are the lowering springs these are the ones that are on my truck these are the ones that i bought there's like no difference maybe nada and these are the ones we went to pick and pull we ended up having to go to pick and pull we couldn't buy the thing so we're going back to stock guys you can see the difference it's going in there we'll see what's up if anything we'll just cut these down if it's too high but i feel we should make it good because those are 20s anyway so as long as we don't got a big wheel gap should be fine we still have the spindle which is the lowering spindle and then this one so there you guys let's get it Alrighty guys, so everything's put back together. You guys can see that travel. So everything's put back together. The tire the whole assembly used to sit up here. Now it's here. It feels gonna be too high, but we gotta drive the truck. Um meanwhile this should hold us meanwhile we get the coal over set up that we want. Um just want to get rid of all this scraping it used to bottom out right there with the with the chassis so we should eliminate that as well <laughs> <laughs> all right guys we're gonna do the other one off camera set it down and drive it out see how it how yes. it looks hell no hell yeah <laughs> Okay, guys, so we're gonna cut those springs <laughs> for sure. Damn, no, fool. Let's get out for a ride, see how this is. All right, you guys, so I'm not happy with the results, but we're gonna leave it here. It's already dark outside, late. So, ahorita por ahorita, we gotta lift and the drop. We're deciding. Uh, we're gonna end up uh, dropping it two inches, and then we're gonna go from there. I don't, I don't like it's too high, but we want to have some travel, so we're eh, probably gonna have, have a four inch drop in the front. That's what we're going for, because it's still higher than my wife's truck. And yeah, so hey, you guys, we're gonna end the video here with these results. This fat ass over here fucking laughing at me. <laughs> Dick. I told you it was gonna get a Catalina. Nah, well, no Catalina. That's Catalina. that's extreme. <laughs> dog. No, this thing got bags, man. It looks like I got bags. So, hey, you guys. Thanks a lot for watching. Like, share, subscribe.
make sure you comment down below what you guys think about the, the cielo light over here but uh yeah next video we'll be dropping it the cali we're gonna adjust the, <laughs> the height why are you talking shit, <laughs> Come on. Shut up.